What's going on guys, this is Isaac. Today we are on an old project. We got the rug mower. It threw the belt last time, so today I'm gonna drop the deck, put a new belt on it, and maybe an exhaust and just get it where it's uh, mowable. I believe, I've never had one of these apart, this will be a first, I believe the deck drops. It looks like with four bolts, half inch. Maybe I'm going about this wrong way. Maybe it's these guys. I don't know what I'm doing. You don't remove the four nuts here. You don't remove these two side bolts. To drop the deck, there are, on the from the underside, there are one, two, three, four, five, six nuts that you gotta drop or take loose to drop the deck and from what I hear and from what I see they're probably gonna break off. Well, yep. I thought I was gonna remove a deck off of a mower. <laughs> There's the nut falling down on the you see it? That's that's the nut. Mm. Wheels on the mower go round and round because I can't drop the deck on the floor. This is a uh, brilliant, brilliant. Look at this sketchiness we got going on. <laughs> <laughs> I bet this one's gonna break. Jeez, this one's gonna break too. And one more. There we go. I am just going to forget this and I guess I'm going to just cut them off. Safety glasses on. I got my cutter. Three more nuts I got to snap off and this deck should come right off. Stripped out. That one's going to be a half inch. This one looks like it could be. Uh, let's get a half inch under here. Stripped out. Stripped out. Stripped out. Let's see if it'll drop. there all kinds of leaves I'll dump this out in the yard this thing's not in bad shape the deck I mean okay guys let's see what we got left all right it threw this belt this belt's supposed to go around this pulley which goes to the transmission uh, there's also a, a drive belt that goes from the engine to this pulley, which also spins the blades. So I'm gonna go out and get some new belts, and then we're gonna see if we can get this thing rolling again. I believe I've got to take all this mess off. There we go. And I believe, oh, look at that. Oh, wow. That is fascinating. Yay. So that one's the back one. The smallest one goes first. Before I take the car, I got a squeaking belt I gotta fix. It's a belt day. It is a belt day. Got a new one right here. It's not going on easily. Okay, that's it. Looking for a belt that'll fit. Might be onto something. So, tractor supply didn't have the belts for me. I had to go somewhere. 
somewhere else. So, but I got belts. So now I'm on the way back and get these belts on. I am putting things back together. We have our belts. I've been uh, lubricating the pulleys. Turns out that it's a bushing, it's not a bearing. I thought it was gonna be a bearing. Ugh, it's tight. So the short one goes, where does it go? Don't tell me it's too tight. I'll run it anyways. Maybe it'll loosen up. Who knows? The only thing I have left is this one right here. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, let me see if I can get this thing cranked. I'm gonna move this to the other part of the building, but I'm gonna drive it. And today we are going to replace the tires on this. tires I got for it. These look uh, pretty bad. I'm hoping that these bolts will come loose and everything's going to be copacetic. Hey, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, that's another one. Oh, look at that. And I believe this is going to be a I hope it's a split rim because that makes changing tires so much easier. Well, that tire's dry rotted as crap. Since this tire's been on this rim for so long, it really doesn't want to come apart. So, what I've been doing, I've been snapping the the metal bead, whatever you want to call it. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Very little there, but it'll be fine. All right, just for the heck of it, I want to put a little bit of paint on these uh, wheels just to try to help the rust hit you. And yes, I'm gonna paint on my concrete, because I don't care. We'll give those a second. And then I'm gonna put, oh well, I can actually uh, check and see if these uh, beautiful slits are rotational or not. I don't think they are. Not for highway service, we'll see about that. So I'm gonna put the tube inside the tire, and then we'll be ready to put the rim on the wheel tires. Alright, now that I got the 
tube in there, I had to put a little bit of air in it because it was bunching up. That's it. Let's uh, put some air in this thing and see what happens. No, I don't have a uh, compressor here. It'll be fine. So I'm gonna do this the hard way and pump it up with the bicycle pump. Is that seated all the way around? I hope so. It's a bit rounder than I was thinking. It'll be fine. How can it be rounder than you were thinking, Ike? It's a tire. I was thinking it was going to be flatter. Tire down, three more to go. What's up, guys? I'm uh, back at work on the uh, mower. I'm fixing to add some tire slime to the uh, front tires. They have fairly new tires on them, but uh, I bet they're the old tubes. So I'm going to put a little bit of tire slime in them. This one actually has some air in it. Not much. little unhappy about the way the rear wheels turned out uh, they're they're so round here yeah, let me see if you can see there we go they're so round because the rim was so narrow it pinched the uh, the tires and made it kind of round I'm thinking later on maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll get some racing slicks to put on it like some big fatties so I have the throttle hooked up here you can see that working, but I am missing a linkage that goes from here to here. So I need to make that work. I can go wide open, but I can't get it to idle. I'll get this figured out. I'll show y'all when I get it done. I'm making some linkage out of coat hanger and I'm just doing it straight shot. It's going to bypass the uh, governor. Well, let's give that a try. I'm willing to give it a try. I'm going to just uh, crank this thing up and go for a ride.
right guys I reckon that's it for this video I'll catch y'all later